Hey guys, and today we're going to be showing part two of the brand new, this brand new update in BeamNG Drive. So, how did you guys remember last video? So last video we went, we went on the big, we went on the track, uh, where, where, wherever that is. Uh, right down here, the track was right down here. Uh, then we went on a couple of the, the a couple of the trails. Anyway, now we're going to be, now we're doing... Uh, but now we're gonna be doing the rock crawler trails. So, so we have. So last video we did, we didn't do that one. We did that one. We did that one. And now we're doing this one out of scale. So we're right here. So we're just gonna be kind of going for it. Yeah, we're in low gear, four wheel drive. Um, and yeah, so we're in actually the new rock crawler buggy. Well, uh, this is, I believe, the best rock crawler, the best, um, the best. What was I saying? The best vanilla rock crawler in the game. Okay, what? Should be able to crawl right up that. Isn't it? There we go. Right up here. This is the hardest stuff we've had. It's the hardest trail we've done at least so far out of the two. And we just started. It can only get worse from here. There is really just so much to explore. Like I'm gonna be doing a bunch of exploring on this map off camera. And I kind of might, I, I might make a video um, of my favorite unmarked spots because I'm sure there's many, there's many great good ones. I'm sure. That's a pretty cool like hill climb type thing. So then real quick, I'm gonna just take a quick check at the map. So then... Uh, which one are we doing? Here we're doing out of scale right here. So the top is like right here. So that's where I'm gonna mark. Yeah, there we go. So... That is very helpful. I just realized that right at the end of last video, if you guys remember that. If you guys would love to see more BeamNG videos on the channel, please let me know. I, I've enjoyed making the last one, I'm already enjoying making this one. This is a pretty hard part right here. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got a little bit of a descent right here. Here we go. So there's an arrow. If I take, a, if I get rid of the navigation, is it gonna? Is that arrow gonna stay there? Okay, now that arrow goes away. 
Okay, I like that. I like that. There's the arrow there. That's pretty nice. Scale, it's right up there, or right there. Is that a turn left here? That seems pretty cool. We are gonna turn right here. Demon G, we're going to go straight off the cliff. Oh, that wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. And whatever, so we're going to go to map now. So then if we go to marker collection, what is this? Marker collection. Rock slide scramble. No, I'm not using that. I'm not doing any of that. At least not in this video. Anyways, so the next up is a uh, bootlegger's revenge. So we're gonna quick travel there. This one is supposed to be high difficulty, so uh, this one should be good. Oh my god, it's freaking making me go over here. It's the farthest we can go without it bringing me the other way. Wait, it's bringing me up there. Alright, there we go. Okay, so. We're gonna hit with some speed in the beginning. About 20 mile an hour right now. So we're gonna just kinda go straight up these rocks right here. We got some pretty narrow stuff going on right over here. This is definitely the best off-road map ever to be added to this game. Um, is it better than the modern maps? We are. I'm gonna maybe. Mo I'm gonna make modern map videos pretty soon. Um. Uh, I'm, I just said that I'm probably not gonna do it. <laughs> nah, I'm going to try to. I'm gonna try to if I have enough time. But, um. But yeah, so. Yeah, we will see what's better, this or the modern maps. Uh, this is incredible. This is way better than any in game rock crawling, any vanilla rock crawling that we've had. We've ever had before. I made the, the wrong decision of trying to climb over that rock. There's also a game, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, it's called Pure Rock Crawling. Uh, if you guys played it, let me know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it, because you know, I'm kind of, I've been considering buying it, except BeamNG is just so much fun, and I don't know if, I don't know which one's better. I mean, I want to try, I want to try them both, except both, they, it of course costs money, and 
I of course don't want to put money into it if it's not going to be good. Here we go. This is these, this is some incredible crawling up and up, coming up here. These rocks, they look amazing. And the BMG developers really put some effort into this. I love this. You, know, you can t you can obviously tell when developers that care about their player base. I mean, like uh, last video, I said I talked about how um how how this game was basically going towards completely eliminating the need for mods, and Forza wasn't, and not Forza, um, SnowRunner wasn't. But um, you know, SnowRunner is really more of a trucking game, and this is you know this is, I mean I get this is more of a car crash game. Um, but, you know, the developers are doing incredible jobs. I'm making this game how, um, how, just making this game how amazing it is today. Like, this game was not close to as good as a couple years ago. Okay, let's, this game was not close to as good a couple years ago. I'm gonna, like, kind of... Okay, well, we're gonna see if we can just like maybe pull this thing, get unstuck. That's what's great about SnowRunner. There's a winch. I would love to see that in this game. I would love to see that in this game. Like a little winch system to get you uh, unstuck. I don't know what that was that pulled off. I think it was a headlight. I don't know. The arrows definitely help a lot to tell telling you where you're going. I would be completely lost without them. You guys see that white line right ahead? That's where we're heading to. Uh, so we're not, we're probably not gonna be showing the rock bouncer in, in this video, but um, if you guys would like to see that, please let me know. If you see a video on that in the future, please let me know. I mean, it's not in, in my opinion, rock crawling is better than rock bouncing. But you know, I mean, a lot of people think you know speed equals better, more speed equals more better. But you know, I'm just not really into that too much. You know, I mean, I love fast cars, but like you know, off road, this is the best you can get right here. Wow, that's just a pretty hard part right here. Okay, we're going up. It's very, very slowly. Okay, let's see if we can maybe find a different line. Now we're stuck on this rock. Hard section. Right, let's see. So we're gonna use our knockoff winch again. See, that should be good enough, right there. there we go. Should we go this way? Well, up here we are at the top of the mountain. That was an incredible trail. 
size right there at the end where we were getting stuck. And we're gonna get stuck here. Nope, nope, no, I'm right up it. Wow. Oh, there's still a bit more. Okay, then. There's a descent too. Now, while we're up here, I think we might as well go to the map, find it. So, what are we doing? The bootleggers' revenge. Here, I'm gonna. I'm going to set my waypoint to the actual end since it was a little bit before it. But oh um, yeah. The suspension on these rock crawler buggies are, in, are also incredible. In the last video I was talking about how good the trophy truck suspension was, but this is also amazing. I'm kind of just using gravity to get down this. Um, let's see, what are we stuck on? You can literally see like the tired like deflating on those rocks. It's incredible. They're like, you know. Let's see the axle. The dish is stuck on that. That's what, that's what portal axle that's what portal axle are for. I'm just gonna let gravity do some work here. And look at that flex. That is incredible. at the end of the trail so we're gonna go to the map so what is this thing we're not gonna be doing this one this whatever this is we are going to be doing this one though this map is just massive like, there's no way you can explore this entire map. It's literally impossible. So the next one we're going to be doing is the Van Der Waals Vertigo. And, of course, it has me going that way. I'd love, love to see it. Alright, there we go. That's where we're gonna be going for now, and then that last row was incredible. I don't really expect anything to be able to beat that. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that new map that's in development. It's a modern map. Uh, it's basically like it's supposed to be a scale replica of not like a, not like a one by one scale replica, but it's supposed to be kind of like based off of Colorado. So that's gonna be amazing. Uh, there's some very difficult trails in that. That's gonna be amazing. One thing about me is I'm very huge into US and Canada geography. And by far my favorite state in the US would definitely have to be Colorado. So uh, you can tell I'm definitely excited for that map. Uh, is this taking me the right way? I don't. I wouldn't expect that much of a hill climb in this. Uh, where is it? Uh, this one. Yeah, I guess it is taking me the right way. Oh, that's a little bit more hill climby than I would expect on a map like the, on a trail like this. some 
some rock, more rocks now. This is amazing. Oh my god. Y'all, this is actually hard. Yo, this is difficult. Yo, this this is yo. I said that blast trail was good. This is even better. Now that we made it to here, I think we need to just scroll down here, go back here, and then we need to just mark off the rest of the trail. So then, there we go. Just so I know exactly where to go and we need to go there. Dude, this is such a this is such a great map. This is such a great trail. I'm very thankful that you know the developers put this together for us. I really couldn't ask for anything better. And I broke off. I guess that was the light bar that broke that broke off. You see right there. I love the damage physics in this game. That's that's the main reason I actually downloaded it. That was before I realized you could rock crawl and do all this stuff. But um let's see I need to put this thing over. But um this, there's just many times like this that I just wish I could turn it, turn it off because you know, kind of takes away from the fun when you're breaking stuff off. So I am doing pretty good right now. Like last video when I like ripped the com ripped the, the side completely off of that truck. You know, that, that that just times like that is when I wish you could just turn the damage off. So, uh, we're going to, how to, oh, okay, there goes that thing, that's another, that's another, one of the times I wish, you know, that the damage was off. Oh my god, I'm breaking everything off. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Now that the entire front end's pretty much ruined from me rank from me yanking on stuff. Not what I'm stuck on now. And there we go. If you haven't already bought this game, buy it. The winter sale's coming up. You could probably get like five bucks off it. Normally it's 25, you could probably get it for 20 for Christmas, you know, but like, um...
Oh wait, that's the end. We're at the end. No, aren't I? Aren't we? Alright, there we go. So now the last one, the last crawling trail, that would have to be Freeform Mountain Crew. You know, I think we're gonna be skipping that one too. I don't really know what this is, whatever, okay. We're not gonna be really doing these missions, they don't really appeal to me that much. But um the last thing we are going to be doing in this video, we're gonna be going to these sand dunes right over here. And then we're going to take out the um So we're going to, to go into free roam and then we're going to take we're gonna so to these sand dunes right over here, we're gonna take back out the trophy truck. And then you know, we're just gonna just do some have some fun out in the sand dunes. So we're just gonna yeah, we're gonna go over here, put the truck over here. We're just going to um, we're gonna pull out the we're gonna pull out the the trophy truck, take out the TT1 Unlimited. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright guys, so, um, yeah, so we're just gonna go over here, I'm just gonna kinda just hit some jumps here on the dunes, you know, kinda just go up, you know, is very hard to control. Now let's throw some uh, four-wheel drive on here. Think where would be like if I were to put like a. I don't know. Can you like not put a four wheel drive on here? I don't really know where it'd be. Okay, it's orange now. <laughs> Four wheel drive four wheel drive B. Um, I don't know. I don't know. No, whatever. I love this truck, but like it's just way too hard to control. Like, okay, I like that completely. Let's try to send it off that giant. Let's try to send it off that giant dune. I wish 
you get a little bit more speed, the full wheel drive would definitely help with that. And you weren't spinning out every two seconds. Says we're going with 70, but that's the wheel speeds. And, okay, and we're spinning out. All right. See, I love this truck. Oh, here, no. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. That's that's good. That's fine. Whatever. All right. So anyway, uh, that will be the end of this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.